he's been shooting pigeons for a long time. It all started with his grandfather and uncle. Now he's got the chance to pass down some of those old school techniques to his grandson Regan. Most of the field craft is as relevant now as it was more than 50 years ago. Some tips have been lost or forgotten, so we've decided to weave in some nostalgia with the woody pest control of the moment. Today, it's about decoys. It's a tough bit of dirt here. The peas haven't come so well, they never will. It's only just a little strip about, I don't know, 30 yards long and about 40 yards wide. You can see, you can just see it weather. You can just see the clay in there. Peas aren't too bad here. Usually I'll sit down further, but the peas are a lot longer there. So today I'm going to try and decoy them up into this big clump of trees here. And all it is is with the, the decoys we just made this morning and painted, just to see how they work, just going back to old school really. We have bought a flapper, but give that a go, but I'm just going to go old school and just put one pigeon out there when its wings out and put these new decoys that me and Regan have messed about and painted this morning. Right, Crowey, take me back in time. What's going on here? In days of old, before I was given different decoys to try out and test and whatever, Grandad and my uncle, we, we weren't rich people. Well, no farmers are rich, are they? <laughs> Not funny, David. So, carry on. Just so I've got a new combine in the shed and a new two fent tractors and a new truck. Yeah. Farmers okay. are, we'll right. ignore those. Yeah, we'll move on. Right, yeah, so we used to make, make our own decoys when I was like Regan's age. Pigeons were a lot easier to decoy then. There weren't so many people, they weren't under so much pressure. So yeah, so you could, provide there was something grey out there with uh, a bit of white around its neck and it looked, it resembled a pigeon, it worked. And then Grandad used to make them out of old bits of drain pipe. And that's what I'm doing here. He used to get a, he used to get a marker pen, mark around it like this, all the way around. Just to get the rough, rough shape really. Wow. Well, just to get the rough shape, but in the olden days, we never used to have a skill saw. So, <laughs> how got, long did it take you? I got in there the other day when, uh, well, we decided to do this quite a while ago, but I got in there the other day and I, I got the hacksaw out and I looked at that and I thought, I only, <laughs> <laughs> like the olden days, hacksaw blade without a frame because you can't get all the way oh around. Oh my goodness. Yep, so anyway, I thought, I've got to. I know I've got a jigsaw somewhere. I know I have. I know I have. And I found that, and that was a, a saving. <laughs> there might be a bit of editing involved with this, because I ain't very good with a skill saw. I can drive a tractor, but I'm not very good with it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey. And we've got another one of them. What sort of? Another one of them, see? Cool. That bit's discarded. Then, we used to put it on, we used to heat them up on a fire. That's, no. Yeah, we used to heat, heat them up on a fire. We're going to go away a bit, mate, because it's, it's, this smoke's going to smell a bit. So. Get that bit first. Yeah. You just crease it there, okay. Yeah. It's not the best of days, it's quite hot today, so. I might probably move out onto the concrete, but easier, sorry Dave. There's your tail. Fantastic. So what do you reckon it is? The, the cost for one of these then to make it? How much is a pipe? Uh, used to find them on the side of the road. We just used to pick them up. My granddad never used to pay for anything. He's a, he's a clever man. He's a bit like me. That's where I got it from. You found it on the side of the road. What? <laughs> oh no. They do a line along there. Put a crease in that. Good. It's not easy today because usually you lay it on the concrete, it's cold, but it is a bit warm today. So what about sort of, 
always hear about plimsolls and bits oh, and Christ. stuff. Did you use that as well? Oh, Christ, Granddad used any. He'd use anything. He used to have um, eagle wellies. Useless. Um, <laughs> I, th I think. <laughs> what um, for what? As in a decoy, as a, or a welly. Oh, as a welly. You couldn't stand up in them. The sole was oval. So he used to. He always used to fall over in them. But he loved them. He loved them. But they were rubbish. I can remember when I got a pair. I thought, Christ, why does he wear these? But did they make good decoys? Yeah, he did. Oh. struggling a bit because it's because the, the concrete's uh, like I said just made it so warm there you go got one of them now and me personally I don't think it's much different to that mm. well, I haven't, you know I'm, Grandad, I'm waiting for the paint job Grandad was making them 70 years ago 60 70 years ago not, I'm, I'm not 70 but he was making them before me over 50 years ago I was making them with him they ain't been out 50 years, so really they copied my granddad. Yeah, imagine if you got a pound for every single one of them. Oh yeah, they've got loads in there. And this, this is, hang on, and there's one I made earlier. I know everyone's going to say, yeah, the, sh the paint's shining, but it's the only paint I had. It's. Would you normally have used matte then? Yeah, it was matte. Well, it should be matte, and I couldn't find any the other day. I went to two different builders merchants to try and find some when we decided we were going to do it this weekend and uh, I couldn't find anywhere but it's not gloss but it does the job well we're going to go and try it in a minute and see if they work brilliant so is Regan going to paint a few then he's going to be on it in a minute I just I've got another bit to do to that stay there David I will be back what do you think Regan Good. yeah you looking forward to painting one yeah more power tools more power tools in the olden days uh, my uncle was a uh, uh, farrier, farrier and uh, blacksmith, so he uh, used to use rasps. This is a modern day rasp. Mind out, Regan, mind your eyes, mate. Go and stand over there, please. Good boy. So, is that something for the, the paint to cling on to, or That's is it. Give it give texture? It's made it rough now, the paint will stick to it. And if anyone watches this and thinks, oh, I'm going to have a go at that, if you do, for Christ's sake, wear the goggles because this, this stuff comes off, it's so, so fine um, uh, and it gets in your eyes and uh, that's the reason I've got my glasses on. Um, but there you go, it don't look much, it don't look nothing special. It's the biggest pigeon I've seen in my life. It's the biggest pigeon you've ever seen, is it, mate? Yeah. <laughs> it, don't, it don't look much, but I guarantee never work with children and dogs. He's a good lad, he's a good lad. It is massive, mate. It's bigger than you, nearly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That isn't one you made earlier, mind you, is it? No, that one isn't. But no, they, it don't look a lot. But all they're looking for is... Uh, There's another one for you to make. Yeah, there you go. That's what it starts out like. Let's see the finished article. There you go. There we go. Turn de toile. All they're looking for is that and the grey out there. That's all they're looking for. This, well done, Regan. This, to that, to that, to that. To that, to that. To that. That's it. Bob on. Shall we mix up a bit of paint so you can have a go at painting? Yeah. Come on in, it's, you stay there then. Not much difference in the colour, a little bit. But that's all you need is the rainbow on the neck. Well, I haven't got the rainbow. But like I said, every time, all you've got to do is take ten or a dozen of that or half a dozen of these. You could use that rainbow. You could, you'd mate. Need you could. But once, once you've got a half a dozen purple. of these, yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. Just drawing them close enough to get a half a dozen real ones and you're away then. So, right, Megan, you're going to do some painting? Yes. Right, paint all of that, that colour. And for those people looking for that colour, is it pigeon grey? I mean, what are we looking for? <laughs> That's not pigeon grey. It's just a grey that I found. It's about oh, as yeah, close as you can get. So do I need to paint everything? It is. I ain't got my glasses on. <laughs> oh, it's grey. Let me turn it around to me so I can film it. What is it? Hold on, that's too close. Uh, it is... Is it gallant grey? Gallant grey, I think. Yeah, it is. I can see that now. It's been so known as pigeon grey. It's not quite Grand the right colour, but Tommy finished. Do I paint all the 
this whole thing the there. whole of that that color here we go hey, there's, there's no flies on this boy why well, drive a little machine when you can drive a big machine no not that one this one. use this one come on right just paint it all that's it tail first all of it just paint all of it that's it see i can see how you're gonna you can increase production here Craig. okay give me another couple of he's been waiting every night this week when he comes home from school he's been messaging me when, I, when can I come and paint the decoys, Grandad? When can I come, back, come and paint you the decoys? Say tomorrow. Day. Oh no! All you right, say all right. Tomorrow. I know. Okay. No, not tomorrow. Another day. It's just like his mum. Emotional blackmail. It is. <laughs> You're doing a lovely job there, mate. Right. There you go. So all his head. So and, do I paint this colour? Yeah, that colour out of there. Okay. okay. Don't go mad with it because there's not a lot in there. And that wants to go on his head and all the way around that line, okay? Okay, put it in gently. Um, I watch it get scratched, and that's how they get scratched. I can remember my granddad kept making all these decoys, and I thought, ah, oh, I'll get some flexi coils. They were the in thing at the time. Everyone was raving on about them. And uh, as soon as I got them out of the bag, he said, well, they're no good boy. He goes and gets a tin of white paint and starts painting them straight away. And I said, granddad, I've only just bought them. I haven't even used them. <laughs> Time, we'll see if those decoys work and hear more about the time when Mr. Crow had a fro. Here we go. We're going to hang on. Brand is going to try and miss a pigeon. Do you hear my grandson? My granddad, did you get two? Yes, I did, Regan. Did you get to? Yeah. <laughs>